No, they don't make rubber. They get it from trees. <laughs> and I already told you how they get trees. Wow, Mom, you really do know everything. Yeah, and I get it all from books. Dad, did you know Mom knows everything? Yeah, that's just one of the little things we have to live with in this family. <laughs> One peanut butter and jelly sandwich coming right up. I like it better with the peanut butter on top. <laughs> there you go. Well, instead of watching the thing that wouldn't die on the thing that wouldn't die, why don't we all do something together? We are doing something together. I wonder what people did before television. They made dolls out of corn cobs and stared at fire. <laughs> This is ready. Yuck, these aren't the microwave kind. I know, the microwave died this morning. It's okay to cry, your dad did. I only like the frozen ones. Okay, fine. They'll be ready in an hour. DJ, get off the roof now! He bolted. <laughs> How many times have I told you to stay off the roof? I wasn't on the roof. In your room, you're grounded. What? Dan, I was the one that told him he could play on the roof. I figured it was safer than the park. gives you the shakes and then you cut yourself shaving. I can babysit. Well, you won't have to. She'll show up. Well, what if she doesn't? She will. Honey, get away from here. Give me all that stuff. What you move? Mom, I'm 13. You're too young. Cindy Clark's mother let her babysit when she was nine. Well, Cindy Clark's mom is a drunken slut. <laughs> another minute in the same room with her. And whom, pray tell, are we talking about? Mother, please, you know who I'm talking about. The pig. <laughs> Here's your filthy, disgusting pillow. You know, all you two have been doing this whole week is fighting, and I really want it to stop now. Well, then talk to Darlene. She leaves all her grungy stuff all over my side of the room. What? I can't leave anything anywhere without her going into convulsions. Okay, well, there's only one way to solve this problem. Give me that pillow. And give me that blanket, too. All right, now turn around and face each other here. Now, I want you two to fight to the death. But you said it was only okay with God to cheat a big company who cheated you. But you aren't giving Leon any of his money. Listen to me, DJ. In the Bible, it states, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and unto God what is God's, okay? It doesn't say one damn thing in there about rendering nothing unto Leon. <laughs> No, DJ. Would you get off my back? Even God took a day off. Could this woman be my little Becky? Not Oliver. If I were you, I'd check upstairs for some missing Kleenex. <laughs> Darlene, you have such a big mouth. And you have such a small chest. <laughs> At least I have a chest. At least I'm not a drooling, boy-crazed nymphomaniac. Hey, leave me out of this. Mom? Can I go to the Lanford Buchanan game on Saturday with John Erdman? He's got his license, and his parents aren't gonna let him take their Thunderbird, but if he wrecks it, he's gotta pay for it out of the money he makes this summer. Uh-huh, condense that and resubmit it in the morning. <laughs> Darling, what is your problem? I'm hungry. Well, dinner ain't ready yet. Well, I'm hungry now. Well, here, start on this. I hear fleece is very high in fiber. <laughs> Mommy, don't mix up it? Hit it, partner. Doesn't anyone want to hear about my day? No. Good parenting. <laughs> well, look, OK, uh, we obviously disagree, and we have to come to some kind of a decision. And one of us is going to be wrong. Now, you just give me the 
chance to be wrong this time. Look, no matter what we do, we're gonna screw our kids up. You let me mess up Darlene, and you can have Beck. <laughs> what about DJ? We'll flip for it. <laughs>